Hi, my name is Paul David, and in this video I'll try to broaden your views on chords, mainly on how to use open voicings instead of closed ones. The tabs for this, as well as a worksheet of all the examples I'm playing, are available at my Patreon page. The most basic chords, also called triads, are built on the one the three and the five of its root note. When you play a chord strictly in that order, you've got something that is called a closed voicing. There is no space in between the notes. They are packed as close together as possible. One, three, five. If you were to spread out that voicing a bit, let's say we ditch the three and put it after the fifth, then we get one, five, and a three on top. Now we've got something that is called an open voicing. A shape real commonly used for these voicings is like this. Fret 3 on the A string, fret 5 on the D string, and fret 5 on the B string. So this is your open C shape, 1, 5, 3. You can play the same chord on the E string, 8, 10, skip a string, 9. And if you want to turn that chord into a minor chord, you simply lower the third, which is on the second string. So fret 5 becomes fret 4, and for this shape, fret 9 becomes fret 8. And this unlocks some very cool chord shapes that are used a lot on a guitar. But what if you try to make the voicing even more open? Now we can put the fifth on top of the third, which is already one octave higher. Let's try this out with the E chord. The root note is going to be the open E string. The third, one octave higher, is this one. Fret one on the G string, G sharp. But I want to play it somewhere differently. I want to play it on the A string, which is fret 11. That is your G sharp. So we've got the one, the root note, the third, now we need a fifth. We find that note on fret 9 of the D string. So this is just your major chord, E major. So instead of this chord, you can play this one. E major, lovely shape. And the good thing about this is you can transfer it one string down and then you've got, you guessed it, A major. Did you guess it? I hope so. A major. And even if we want to go further, we can move it down one string again, but now we have to accommodate for the B string, which is tuned one semitone lower. So we have to fret that note one semitone higher. It becomes fret 11. So here we've got our D chord, our A chord, and our E chord. Lovely shapes. I really love those shapes because they sound full body, they span a wide range of notes, but they sound real open, leaving more room for other notes. And also these shapes, the notes up the neck, sound a little warmer because higher up the neck, the notes have a little bit more low end to the sound. And now, just for fun, let's try to find the most open voicing we can find on the guitar. So let's start off with the lowest note we've got, an E. For us, just six string guitars. And now the third, somewhere in the middle, let's play fret 13 on the G string, which is our third. So we've got one, three, and now we need a five as high as possible. Fret 19. So this is a real open voiced E chord. But this is just an E chord, nothing special about it, except for the fact it's a little bit stretched out. Now. Let's give them a little more color. Let's add a 9 to the chord. This just means we add the ninth note from the major scale to the chord we've already got. And the ninth note is basically the same as the 2, but then one octave higher. Let's try it out on the G chord. Here we've got a G major chord. Closed shape is like this. Fret 3 on the E string, fret 2 on the A string, and an open D string. G major, close shape, one, three, five. And now we need a nine. The nine from G is an A, because the A is the two of G. G, A. 
the note after G. So the A is fret 2 on the G string. So this is your G add 9 chord. 1, 3, 5, 9. It's a beautiful shape on itself, a real cool sound. But this is a closed voicing. Let's turn this into an open voicing. Okay, so I'm gonna play it as follows. Play the G, the root note at first, and then the fifth power chord. Now add the third, which is at fret four on the G string. So now we've just got a major chord, G major. And now we wanna add the nine, which is an A. And the A, the highest A we can possibly play at this shape is fret five on the E string. Yes, I love this shape. G add 9. And you can move the shape up the neck if you want. I really love these shapes and you can tell because I use them in my latest live looping video called Birds where I play A add 9 over here. Followed by D add 9. Real lovely shapes. And of course, again, you can turn these shapes into a minor chord as well. So let's go to B for example. 7, 9, skip a string, 8, skip a string, 9. This is major. If you want to turn it into minor, the third string, the G string, has to become one fret lower, one semitone lower. So this is A at 9, which is a major chord. And then B minor at 9. And the last example we're going to take a look at is adding a 7 to your chord, which is another nice way to add some color to the chord. So the, let's go back to E for example. E major, so we've got the one, the root note, the third. And now we're gonna play the major seventh, which is just one semitone lower than the root, but then an octave higher. So E, D sharp, one semitone lower. So D sharp is, of course, fret 13 on the D string. And now adding a fifth on top, fret 12 on the B string. This is an open voicing of E major 7. And you can move the shapes up if you like, if you prefer the sound of having the 7 on top, which is usually a thing they do, but it's fret 11 on the high E string, which is the major 7. Then you can play the third, for example, the G sharp over here, fret 13 on the G string, and the fifth, fret 14 on the A string. This is a more typical major 7 voicing having the 7 on top, but this voicing is real nice as well. Same chords, different sounds, different voicings. We can do the same for A major 7 for example, open A string, the 3rd fret 11 on the D string, the 7th fret 13 on the G string, and the 5th fret 12 on the E string. So now you can make all these beautiful chords with just adding notes. And if you want to make a minor chord, you probably add the minor 7, which is a whole tone lower than the root note. So you have an E chord, for example, over here, the minor 3rd, now let's play the 5th at first, so the A string fret 14, then the minor 3rd fret 12 on the G string. And then the D, so fret 15 on the B string, which is your minor 7. E minor 7 voicing, instead of E major 7 voicing. A minor 7, E minor 7, D minor 7, etc, etc. So you can really play around and if you understand how these chords are built, it's really easy making them yourselves. 
And that is very awesome to do because you can really create your own sounds. This video is really meant for you to explore this topic some more and to dive deeper into this subject because it's very interesting. And you have to think about it a lot at first, but if you do it a lot, it comes out real naturally. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you next time with another video. This was Paul. Cheers.